I'm Alex and today's topic is about the possibility to add fonts which can be seen and used per machine by other applications using MSIX. As we already know, all Windows fonts are stored in C Windows fonts. If you manually go and copy a font in that location, Windows will automatically register it. However, with MSI, we use the font table to register any fonts we are installing. Now, with MSI, things are a bit different. First of all, MSI packages are not placing files on the system anywhere else other than the default install location, which is program files, Windows apps. This means if you have a font file in your MSI package, it will be actually placed in the virtual file system, something like this. Second of all, the font still has to be registered, and this is done from the Apex manifest file. The font file must be added as an extension under an application element. For example, if I have a font named Radiant, this is how the manifest file should look like. Let's have a look on a machine on how a font should be added and registered within an MSIX package. Let's open up Advanced Installer and create a simple MSIX package and register a font with it. So, if we open up Advanced Installer, let's create an MSIX package from scratch. Let's call it Fonts Package. Okay. I already created a simple Hello World executable that we can place as an application. So let's go to Files and Folders, add our Hello World.exe. Uh, I also want to add the font file now. So we are going to add it in the Windows folder fonts. You can add it anywhere else in the MSIX package. Our font file is a free font file called Radiant. So let's open and add it here. Uh, remember that fonts are extensions of an application. So let's define that our application is compiled and use our hello world.exe as a starting point. Uh, also, let's sign the package because you need to sign your MSI packages in order to install them. I'm going to use a certificate from my disk, synchronize the publisher ID. Okay, and what we need to do now is go to declarations and under fonts package, under application declarations, right click, add application declaration and you can see here shared fonts. You can just click new, browse to your font. Again, the font doesn't necessarily need to be in the Windows fonts folder, it can be anywhere else in the package. And that's it. Now let's save the project and build the package. Okay, and now that the package is built, let's install it. I'm not going to launch the application because we don't need to. Cool, so it's installed. Now let's open up Warpad, for example, and see if we can find our font file there. So our font file should be Radiant, right? Um, and here it is, Radiant free for personal use. Hello world. Now, if you want to see how Advanced Installer already modified the Apex manifest file, let's open up the package with 7-zip and open it. And as you can see, you can you have here under the application ID that we have, which launches hello world.exe, we have the extension for the radiant.ttf. So that's how easy it is to add fonts with advanced installer. So that's it for this video. Now you see how easy it is to add fonts with your MSIX packages. Hit the like and subscribe buttons and let us know in the comment section or our forums what are the topics you like to see in our videos. Have a great day. Bye bye.